Uh, the today's lecture is about chapter two. Uh, the topic is intelligent agents. Okay, intelligent agents. So in AI, intelligent agents play very a very uh, important role because uh, we have okay intelligent agent that always interact with the environment. Okay, so what really is intelligent agent? It is okay. Uh, you can think it as AI program. Okay, you can think it as a program. Okay, software program or maybe hardware system. Okay, whatever you want to say, or maybe a human can also be intelligent agent. I will show you later. Okay, on these things. But let's have a look about the uh, intelligent agent, okay, at, at a glance, okay. So let's say uh, this is an agent, okay. Here is the agent, this one, and this is an environment. So every agent is always interact, okay, uh, is always interacting with the environment, okay. So if there's agent, there will be environment, and the interaction between the agent and environment will always okay be there okay uh, for example uh, we have we are human people and we have surroundings environment maybe uh, we have uh, our house we maybe one kind of environment we have uh, surrounding like office this is another kind of environment or maybe some other environment so you will get the idea later what what really is agent environment? Just a, just a second, bear with me. So agent always interacts with the environment, number one. The second thing is the agents, okay? I'm talking about AI agents. So agents sense the environment, okay? Using sensors, okay? So every agent have a lot of sensors, okay? To sense the different stages of Okay, different states of environment, different uh, level or different states of environment. Okay, so they need sensors to sense it. Okay, about the environment. This one. Okay, so this is why we have this okay, arrow from the environment to the agent itself, right? And uh, this is also called okay, and it the agent will record okay this these kinds of sensors activity, I mean, sensing some environment ideas in terms of observations, okay? So whenever an agent sends something, it will record it in its memory. That is called observation. Observations is just kind of record, okay? That I sense this one, I sense that one, I feel that one, I felt that one, okay, like this one. So, uh, okay, the next thing is, okay, even okay uh, just like environment to agent the sensors are there in the same way okay agents have okay actuators okay that will actuate okay that will do something okay that will do some action in response to some kind of environmental change okay so if there is some change in the environment okay and agents want to change okay the environment so it will do okay it by some action and action is done by actuators okay the actuators are okay any bar, anything okay any part of the agent that is involved in doing some kind of action on the environment okay this is the thing so this is okay a small diagram okay and in between, okay, sensors and, okay, in between the sensors and uh, the actuators, any in between the action and observation, you can think like this also, there is a control policy of the agent. Every agent controls itself, okay, by what should I see it and what should I do it, okay? You can think like that. What should I sense it? What should I do it, okay? So there's control in between these uh, observations and actions that is called agents, okay? Control policy, okay? Uh, so this is a very, okay, clear diagram about the 
interaction between the agent and environment and what you can now sense agents okay I will give you one more example here that's okay don't worry so the whole scenario okay the whole picture is called perception action cycle okay perception action cycle because it perceives the environmental feelings okay and then it acts on those okay uh, feelings right so okay I will give you one more example okay. this is just a theoretical example uh, this is a practical example you might have seen a robo cleaner okay that cleans the floor so you can think it as an agent uh, robo cleaner okay and in robotic it's very famous like this one so all the floor or surroundings around the robo okay cleaner this kind of cleaning uh, vacuum cleaner okay has surroundings uh, for example the floors okay of your house or some other places right so whenever okay uh, there's some kind of dirt okay it will sense it okay so here's the sensor okay which is built inside the robot okay this one and it will sense that there's some kind of dirt in uh, somewhere here or here okay on the floor so it will sense it using the sensors like camera maybe microphone touch okay so it has sensors like these one okay and it will use those sensors to feel okay something about the environment and it 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 is also okay uh, no take notes on those okay sensations okay uh, as observations okay and thereafter okay it will act accordingly that I should clean this place that place the, this is not needed that one is needed okay like this one so it will do some action of cleaning thereafter okay so this is okay uh, action uh, actuators okay that will do something some action to clean uh, how does it clean the actuators may be the motors inside the uh, these okay vacuum cleaner I mean robot cleaner or maybe wise to inform you that I'm cleaning okay or maybe please okay stay aside okay I'm cleaning now there are many smart ro uh, robot cleaners they are very advanced level to give you okay uh, the sense that they are really cleaners actually okay and they have a lot of environmental sensation okay I will tell you later okay uh, one more example exactly similar to this similar to this one that's okay let's move okay so now you got the idea is it okay now uh, can I ask is it okay yes no okay great so everybody okay with this one should I move on yes no everybody okay that's okay so I will move further okay let's move to the uh, outline okay so these are some of the outline I will show you one by one okay so the first okay one is agents okay and actually we are talking about AI agents that's okay it's just okay understood so the thing is okay an agent okay as I shown you earlier is anything is anything that can be viewed as perceiving getting some feelings about its environment okay surrounding environment right uh, using sensors and act on those okay environment using actuators okay? so actuators can be any kind of tool which is inside the agent okay or maybe some kind of program which is inside the agent okay so uh, this is what I was talking about human agents okay so we feel sometimes we humans are also agent okay how uh, okay for example we have sensors sensors to sense the environment using eye ear 
uh, nose, mouth, okay, all these are sense, uh, sensors, our sensors, okay, and actuators are, okay, our hand, we do something, okay, using our hand, legs, and mouth also actually, okay, uh, the tongue you can say, okay, the tongue is a sensor, okay, because it senses the, uh, the taste of food, okay, you can think that, right? So, uh, eye, ear, tongue, uh, also uh, nose, okay. So, the nose is also uh, a sensor, okay, for us. And the rest of the things are like this, okay, and like mouth and so on. So, that's why we think it as human agent, okay. Uh, another example, robotic agent, okay, having camera, infrared, okay and uh, finders, okay, range finders actually, uh, as a sensor, and also uh, various motors of, for actuators, okay. So these are some of the robotic, okay, agents. You will find most of the robotic agents have such kind of sensors and actuators, right? Okay, let's move to the next one, uh, software agent. This is another kind of agent, okay. It receives keystroke, okay, file contains, okay, uh, and network packets as sensory input, okay. So it can sense using these, okay, uh, keyboard, keystroke, or maybe file containers and network packets, uh, whichever is inside the software, okay, which is uh, maybe you can think it as usually connected with the computer. So we have a computer that surely we will have keyboard and we have then we will have network uh, data transfer and all these things okay so we think it as sensory input or just sensor that's okay no problem just sensor and it acts like on the environment by okay using the monitor displaying on the monitor okay on, on the screen uh, Printing out you know, some information, giving you message, okay, uh, sending some network packets. All these are okay actuators. It is done by the actuators, okay. It is done by the actuators actually, okay. So these are different types of example, okay, agents for the agents. So agent and environment are connected together. Now you know clearly, okay. So, uh, why we need to have, okay, uh, intelligent agent? The question is, we can have agent of any type, that's okay, no problem. But why we want it to be more and more intelligent? We want to have intelligent agent, not the uh, common agent, okay? The reason is, okay, we want to maximize, okay, the performance of the work, which is measured in terms of uh, a unit that is called performance measure, okay? You will see it later. So the agents, okay, interacts with environment, okay, right? Using the sensors and actuators. The same example that I shown you earlier, okay? This is the agent, this is the environment. Uh, it perceives the eye, uh, some sensation, sense of the environment using sensors, okay, here, and it, it give back, okay, some action, okay, using the actuators, okay, uh, all these, and this is the, okay, remember, control, okay. So, okay, let's move to the next one. Uh, we, okay, have agents and environment, again, okay, and it acts like this one. This is almost the same thing, environment and the agent and sensors and so on. So uh, the agent, okay, uh, perceive, okay, or get some feelings, okay, uh, using perceptual, okay, inputs. Whatever uh, it want to sense, it, it uses sensor to get the data inside the sensor. Okay, that's all. Then, okay, uh, an agent, okay, perceive, okay. So perceptual sequence is a, a sequence, one by one, okay, getting idea, okay. For example, let's say in case of a robo cleaner, 
extends from one place to another place to another place okay in your flow okay it sends from one place to another place to other to other other okay uh it sends one by one okay uh it feels one by one where is the problem where is the dirt where is not uh too much dirt and where is the, it is uh, which place is very clean okay it observes okay and then it so this is called feeling percept okay sequence one by one with the time okay sequence one by one okay so it gets observation one by one also at the same time okay so agents okay percept sequence okay that is called percept sequence and it is saved in the memory of the agent remember this okay so okay further the agents percept okay sequence is the complete okay history ah that's the same thing the complete history of everything the agent has ever perceived this means okay the agents okay uh, agents percept sequence is a complete history history of what history of observations okay with time okay that uh, this place is clean okay no problem this place is clean okay then it moved to the this place and say okay this has problem there's some dirt inside okay at this location so different location it is observing recording okay one by one that uh, this is okay this is okay this is not okay like this okay okay let's move to the third point okay this one agents behavior okay is uh, described by the agent function so this is very common this is the agent agent function okay so every agents have a mathematical representation like uh, this one the agent function maps uh, percept okay to action percept to action the, like this way so let's say the function okay f okay is such as okay this is for perception p perception p star you can say is okay to action tending to action okay so the agent function okay this one is such as perception okay is tending towards action okay or right like this way so because uh, it will uh, use okay uh, sensors to perceive to sense to feel and then it will do action so the arrow will go from here to here right okay okay let's move to the next one agent function okay and agent program so uh, actually the agent functions right uh, are implemented by or depends on agent program so they are interrelated agent functions are depends on agent program that's all okay agent program can be a software program or something else okay like this okay so every agent functioning function depends on okay, agent program uh, and it is implemented in the same way agent function okay the next one actually uh, it is more complex abstract type okay mathematical description as i have shown you the function is such as perception or is tending to a okay so uh, this is the simplest way of representation of agent function but honestly uh, it is very difficult if you want to derive the formula okay and it is very complex itself okay okay uh, let's move on the agent program is uh, actually uh, the implement implementation within the physical system any yani hardware so if you have robo okay uh, cleaner uh, the agent program is implemented okay is built inside like embedded system within the hardware of the machine okay Hard within the hardware of the machine so it is inside the chip of the uh, robo okay some uh, electronic chips okay which are inside the uh, these cleaners right so that's why i say agent programs okay are implemented put inside okay the chips of electronics okay 
uh, the hard drives inside, okay? Like this one. Okay, uh, let's move to the this next one. Uh, rational agents, okay? Rational agents. We will talk again about the rational. So, an agent, okay, should do the right thing, okay? Uh, based on what it what the agent perceive and what the agent do okay as action okay so uh, this is the ideal situation that agent should do the right thing okay whatever it perceive okay uh, and do the right action something like this right so the right actions okay uh, will cause okay the agent or uh, cause the agent successful so this is the reason the right action okay by the agent causes okay the agent to do uh, to have more success okay so this is why we want to go for right action not the wrong action if the agent do something wrong then uh, we think that robot is unsuccessful in that case but if it does the right thing this means it is successful okay 100% or maybe 80% 70% like this okay uh, okay uh, let's move to the next one rational agents uh, does the right okay thing uh, the, same, the same thing so our goal is to make rational agent okay that can do the right thing the next rational agent should select okay action uh, to maximize performance of the performance measure okay so this is the criteria for every okay uh, rational agent to maximize performance measures right okay uh, let's move to the next one rationality so rationality okay we discussed earlier also that's okay so uh the rationality depends on okay, four things the four things are number one okay the performance measure okay the performance measure or the performance okay uh success okay performance measure or the success criteria that how much it succeeded how much the robot failed okay so uh, this is okay uh, one thing success criteria we can think it as success criteria how much is succeeded okay in doing something uh, agents uh, and uh, we desire for okay something to do from the agents and if the agent does the same thing exactly then we say it is completely successful and the agent is successful otherwise we say agent failed in doing our job okay like this okay uh, the next is agents okay earlier knowledge so this is another factor that affects okay so agents earlier knowledge means historical knowledge the, the knowledge that agent has already perceived feel felt okay earlier in the history in the past time okay so this is another thing about the environment right so agent uh, get the feeling using sensors from time to time and, and gradually slowly from time one two three four okay so it has it must have okay agents okay earlier knowledge uh, about the environment is one of the okay four things in rationality okay uh, the actions okay the number three the actions okay that can be performed the action okay that the agent can perform so what will be the response the action okay by the agent is another factor also the agents okay uh, percept okay sequence yani timeline with the uh, all the feelings about the surrounding environment by the time okay so gradually in the timeline if you see uh, let me show you something with the time zero second then one second two second and 
uh, one hour, two hour, and four hours, twenty hours, okay, so on, okay. So it will okay get some sensation, some sense, okay. In the first hour, it will uh, get some observation, like it recorded hundred observation about the environment. After two hours, it will ob observe two hundred, okay, observation, and so on. So this is the percept sequence, okay, the feelings about okay surroundings, and by the time it will also become more experienced right and it, because it has sense more and more okay with the time so that's why we say uh, we must have a okay, percept sequence okay uh, okay the next is rational agents okay the, almost the same thing okay just look over here so the rationality okay differs okay differs from omniscience omniscience uh, means omni means all actually okay so knowing everything omniscience knowing everything with all the knowledge okay so rationality is different from this omniscience it it is not like I the the agents okay know everything they have every knowledge it is not possible that's why we don't have the perfect uh, all in one robot up to now okay uh, the next thing is agents okay can perform actions this is very clear and uh, to okay to modify okay future perceptions uh, to change okay the future okay feelings okay sense sensation uh, agents do something okay so agent can perform actions to change to change the future feelings okay that if there's something wrong is going on and senses sense it okay uh, this is not right then it will change okay uh, by doing some action future perception so that it will become right okay not the wrong okay so uh, by this way okay uh, to obtain okay useful information okay so if they do it to obtain useful information okay and this is also called possibility okay information gathering any observations recording every time explorations okay all these are okay some of the possibilities in the agents right also okay number three the agent is autonomous okay so in the what is what is the meaning of this one autonomous the agent is autonomous if okay if behavior okay behavior is determined by is uh, measured by okay is any agent's experience if the behavior of agent is determined okay is measured by agent's experience okay in the historical data history earlier okay past okay history of the agent okay then it is called okay autonomous so if the agent's behavior okay is understood by okay understood by agent's history okay in the past okay in the past earlier then it is called autonomous then we can sense it okay what it will do this okay? what it can understand okay otherwise it is not autonomous okay this is the main thing the difference between autonomous and others so uh, these are some of the okay things that we can have in the experience of the agent uh, past history with the ability to learn something and adapt something okay uh, every time agents interact with the environment okay let's say uh, so it always sense something and it observe and make it okay proper record okay and thereafter 
it do it does something okay so so every time it is learning from the sensors it is learning okay and adapting changing its behavior to do something for better environment this is the way okay they work so okay uh, the next thing is so up to now is it okay may, may sh should i ask you again everybody okay with this one no problem okay good so now uh, let's move on okay now we will move on to uh, the same thing omni okay omniscient okay omniscient right this one agent so omniscient omniscience information gathering and autonomy okay so these are the three points in this slide so omniscient agents are those okay that knows okay the actual outcome what will happen really okay by its by the agent's action okay by the agent's action uh, let's say the agent knows that what will happen if i do this then it is called omniscient agent and can act okay accordingly so uh, by sensing it can act okay in the same way to do something better better environment but in uh, but we it is impossible okay to find such kind of agent such kind of robot or such kind of machine okay in reality in real ground okay so this is always problem with the robots we we try to make such kind of intelligent agent to do something uh, that can sense everything and do okay accordingly the best thing okay possible but it is not possible because uh, there are many reasons actually i will show you later so okay uh, the next thing is doing actions okay to change future okay feelings future okay uh, sensation is uh, also called information gathering okay so doing action uh, in order to okay in order to modify okay in order to modify or change the future okay perception okay perceptions uh, also called information gathering the next thing is okay the agents okay depends on earlier okay experience earlier knowledge let's say it has uh, it is doing something okay with the environment for longer time uh, from 0 second to 100 second to one hour 3 hour 6 hours so every time it is sensing a lot of data inside okay and get, uh, getting observation okay every time so it is always improving its knowledge by getting okay information time uh, by the time okay so that's why agents okay depends on the prior okay depends on the prior knowledge earlier okay knowledge of the uh, uh, environment and who makes the agent designer so designer okay should make okay uh such an intelligent agent if they have earlier experience to make such kind of agents let's say the a designer don't know how to collect all these observations uh inside the agent okay then it is not possible to get the good quality any intelligent agent right okay uh, the next thing is uh the agent okay lacks autonomy means it don't have okay uh, power itself so agents okay don't have autonomy right it is it depends on the designer okay first who designs the intelligent agent the his experience his knowledge his ability okay all these things 
Okay, let's move on. Okay, performance laser. Okay, this is the uh, a unique. This is you can think it as unique. Okay, performance for the performance. Okay, so the whole word is called whole word is called performance measure. Okay, this one. So, any measurement of performance. The calculation of performance, right? So performance measure, okay, is a criteria or criterion for uh, success of an agent, okay, agent's behavior. This is the main thing, okay. So it is the okay a criteria for the success of an agent's behavior, right? Uh, for example, let's say uh, performance measure, okay, of a vacuum cleaner agent, okay will be like how much okay the dirt the agent has cleaned okay how much the vacuum uh, robot where robo cleaner has cleaned the dirt okay this is one factor how much uh, the time has taken by the agent to clean how much uh, okay the electricity has consumed in doing such kind of process okay uh, how much is the noise okay generated by this intelligent agents okay, like robo cleaner okay so all these are performance measures uh, again one more example vacuum cleaner okay so as you know okay vacuum cleaner cleans the dirt okay so it sense feels okay the location and the content there are two things inside right the location and the content so we can think the content uh, clean or dir dirty okay whatever and for example here the location is a place inside your room okay somewhere so let's say this is your room and inside there are several locations okay a so we call it this is one location let's say this is a this is a and inside uh, in uh, there may be dirt or it is clean okay it is decided by the okay so cleaner okay or uh, vacuum cleaner right and there's another location B okay like this one in your room and the same way and so on so uh, the first okay one is location this one and the second one is content inside that location whatever is inside the location is called content okay okay let's move on and the action by the vacuum cleaner will be move left, right clean suck no operation if it is clean okay like this one so here's the table for this one a vacuum cleaner agents uh, we have uh, percept sequence one by one with the time so we started from zero time zero second then uh, 60 second then 90 second and so on like this one okay you can think like this or uh, one zero minute one minute two minute three minute and so on so this is the timeline and the percept sequence is like this okay uh, so percept sequence number one okay uh, it will start from here so let's say uh, I have made the same thing okay a this is a location a and this is location B okay. so in the location let's say it is clean okay let's say there's no dirt okay no problem nothing nothing is here it is it looks clean okay then the agent will move to the right side okay the action will be it will move to the right side thereafter okay uh, let's say uh, another situation that a is dirty okay? so uh, in other case let's say a is not clean okay it has some dirt also so if a is dirty it will clean so it will clean so these are the actions as per the environmental state condition situation okay so every state every situation every condition gives the agent to do something 
kill all the time. So in the area of B, let's say location B, it is clean. So it will change the location of the agent, okay? Left side, okay? Let's say uh, in the B okay, location, the content is dirty, means it is dirty, then it will clean immediately, right? Otherwise, okay, uh, let's say A clean, A clean, okay, there are many, okay, you can make, think it as not just one time, many times location, okay, so these locations are, okay, sequence, in sequence, A clean, A clean, uh, it is one by one, so uh, in that case, if it is clean, 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 okay, all the time, it will move to the right, 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 right this way, okay, you can think like this. Or if, let's say, in one situation, A is clean, okay, that's okay. But in the next one, A is dirty, then it will clean, okay, that dirt. It is compulsory to clean, right? So it will do the action, it will clean, so. Uh, and so on. So these are, okay, I got, I think you got the idea, right? A clean, then A clean, then A clean, then no, there's no need, okay, to clean. It will move to the other side, right side, okay? A clean, A clean, A dirty. Okay, now the problem. So it will just clean, so, okay, like this. So uh, these are, okay, some of the, uh, you can think is uh, observation and actions, right? Is it okay, everybody is feeling some kind of agent sensation? No problem, right? Is there any problem? Yes, no? Okay, great, good. So let's move to the next one, okay? Uh, there's an acronym like P's, okay? Uh, P for performance, okay? Uh, performance measure. E, okay, is for environment and a for actuators and S for sensors. So there are four okay, letters, performance measure, environment, actuators, and sensors. So, uh, okay, uh, the P's, okay, must, okay, we should have, okay, at first, okay, at the first, okay, planning of the agent, intelligent agent, making such kind of intelligent agent, we must at first the settings for intelligent agent, okay? So it is important to think about all these things, okay? In, from the very beginning, whenever we are thinking about intelligent agent, okay? Planning or designing, right? So uh, for example, let's say uh, the task of designing, okay? Automated taxi driver means the automated uh, intelligent agent based taxi driver. Okay, so the taxi driver is itself a robot. Maybe you can think like this. So it is measured by performance, measure, environment, actuator, sensor. So what are those? Here is an example. Okay. I will show you one by one. So performance measures are the, okay, how much it is safe to drive using such kind of, okay, rubber uh, agent, intelligent. How much, how can, how fast it can move, how much it is legal to move, okay, how much comfortable the journey, the trip, how much uh, is uh, uh, profit. Is it the maximum or the minimum? If it is profitable, it, if the return, it is economical. If the return is economical, it, it if it gives the maximum profit, then it is okay. Environments can be the road, okay? So the taxi will move from one place to another, way, another one. The, these environments are road, are traffic, okay? people who are moving, okay, on the road, or on the streets, okay, side streets, and also uh, customers, okay, our environment. 
actuators are steering wheel accelerators brake signals horn okay all these uh, sensors are camera sonar okay uh, speedometer gps odometer in engine sensors and keyboards okay so this this is okay all about these four factors re related to intelligent agent as automated taxi driver okay let's move to the next one the agents can be okay in the for the medical diagnostic system like this one so uh, you can think as agent and the surrounding environment is the doctor and the patients okay uh, these are environments so uh, the patients okay are examined by using some sensors like some medical okay diagnostic machines like uh, uh, heartbeats, signals, and other things. <coughs> Sorry. And it will get okay observation of the patients okay by using the sensors like this one. So there's a machine like this one uh, for scanning. The patient is here. It is scanned by this machine and give you the observation here. So these are the sensors okay. And observation is here and it is get it is received by the doctor itself okay the, as a this for on the display on the test okay all these things so this is a combination of patients uh, doctor and intelligent agents like this one the machine the display the whole system actually right so here, okay, uh, we can think performance, performing measure as health patient, healthy patient, minimize cost, okay, lawsuits, okay. Uh, environments are patient, hospital staff, doctors, okay, like this, and uh, screen display, uh, test, diagnostic report, uh, also uh, treatments, reference are actuators, right, and the sensors are keyboards attached with the devices okay like this one or uh, maybe uh, some findings some observations some signal okay uh, about the patient's heart uh, also brain everything okay patient's answer question answer by the doctor so another example of okay uh, part picking robot the perform measure is percentage of uh, parts in correct brain environment conveyor okay bed uh, you can see also uh, search about in the google what is part picking robot but actually it is picking okay different parts okay so that's why it is called part picking robot conveyor belt uh, with parts okay bin and actuators are joint arm a handle a uh, hand to pick those parts okay sensors are camera to see okay where are the parts joint angle sensors okay to see and sense the, those parts which are scattered in the environment right uh, okay uh, the next one is interactive english tutor so in this one maximize okay the students score is performance on the test environment okay is students uh, in this case actuators will be screen display for uh, some exercises suggestion corrections and sensors will be the keyboard right uh, also okay there are many types of environment fully observable and partially observable so if okay agent sensor sense okay uh, to complete okay the environment the state of the environment uh, all the time so if the agent sensor sense complete state all the states okay uh, with the time okay then it is all fully observable okay so if the agent sensors uh, observe okay completely the environment okay all the states state one two three four okay all the time then it is called fully observation observable environment otherwise okay it is partially the environment is called partially 
observable because of okay uh, it is possible by the noise or inaccuracy in the sensors sometimes the sensors are not so accurate to sense something inaccuracy so that's why we don't record the complete data observations so that's why it is the environment become partially observable or maybe the situation is some states are missing inside the sensor data memory of the data sensor uh, memory of the agent itself okay and ultimately uh, the sensor state actually okay uh, let's move to the next one if the agent has no sensor okay let's say then uh, environment is unobservable okay if the agent has no sensor at all okay then environment is unobservable we cannot observe any environment okay uh, changes or something like this okay so in what agent and environment are here and the sensors are here and every time the environment changes okay like uh, from the with time it changes with time okay so changes with time with different states as I shown you earlier in the case of uh, vacuum cleaner okay so uh, whatever is changing inside the environment by uh, what we say change in the state of environment is of is collected in the memory of the agent okay and internal memory of the agent uh, sometimes is a sensor data okay so these are some of the important factors we should consider okay okay uh, let's move to the next one give me uh, is it possible to give me five minutes more is it okay I want to finish this one everybody okay agree okay okay great just give me five minutes I will finish this chapter because it's not so good to leave okay okay so there are other type of agents single and multi multi any many agent okay single agent and many agent multi agent so for example okay, uh, an agent okay solving a crossword puzzle okay you might have seen the crossword puzzle like it is there somewhere it is uh, a is written there's b is written and there's uh, some kind of uh, F, uh, t is written okay like this and you make a complete word okay like this one from all the on the side across the side or like this one so this is crossword puzzle okay so an agent if solving crossword puzzle is definitely single agent okay environment uh, agent and whereas okay an agent playing chess can be considered as two agent environment it is inside the two agent okay, environment. So the chess game have needs two agent okay, environment. Uh, chess is a competitive okay, multi agent. That's why we say multi agent okay, environment because it is more than one okay, more than one okay. So it is multi agent environment. Okay, uh, the, in case of taxi driving environment okay, this one. Uh, avoiding collisions, uh, maximize performance measures, okay, all uh, the factors that we should consider. And uh, so, uh, by this way, okay, it is called as partially cooperative, okay, multi agent environment, like this one, okay. Uh, also, uh, partially competitive, it is not fully competitive but partially competitive okay uh, let's move to this one deterministic and stochastic okay? there are two types of environment like this one so if okay a deterministic means is sure okay if the outcomes are sure or certain then it is called deterministic otherwise stochastic random okay so uh, for example if the next state okay of the environment is completely determined completely uh, understood okay by the current okay state 
then we say it is deterministic. We, if we are sure about the outcome, the future, the next okay uh, outcome, next okay state, then it is called deterministic environment. We are sure we know this one, and then what will happen to the next? We know it. Then it is called deterministic. Otherwise, okay, it is stochastic, random. We don't know what will happen to the next stage, next state, right, in the environment. In that case, there should there will be a lot of uncertainty, randomness, and that's why we, can, we say it stochastic, okay, environment. Okay, uh, environment is uncertain if, okay, if it, if it is not fully observable. So if we cannot observe completely the environment, then uh, there will be uncertainty or not deterministic, okay, like this one. Uh, there are also non-deterministic, okay, non-deterministic, not sure, okay. So environment in which actions are, okay, characterized means understood by okay uh, possible outcomes so there are possibilities of outcome but uh, some kind of okay uh, no 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 probability no possibility we cannot measure it as 100% it is possible so this is non deterministic in other cases okay uh, also, uh, in the same one, okay, associated with uh, performance measure, okay, that uh, the condition, okay, condition, uh, this one, okay, non-deterministic, uh, it is associated with the performance measure, and that condition, uh, the agent need to succeed for all possible outcome. So. It is associated with the performance measure, uh, and it will check the condition that whether the agent need to succeed for all possible outcomes. Okay, then it is non-deterministic. Uh, episodic sequential versus sequential. So in the episodic, okay, the agent's memory, okay, experience is divided into uh, small pieces small episode okay so let's say it's just like in the movie we have different pictures okay one by one so every small component is called episode with time so maybe uh, at the zero minute it was like this after one minute after two minutes and three minutes and so on okay so these are called episode uh, the memory is recorded with time and each episode okay uh, in the e in in every episode, okay, in every episode, the agent receives okay some sensation, some uh, feelings, and then do something, uh, single action, in this case. Also, uh, the next episode doesn't it don't it don't depends okay. Uh, I mean, it doesn't depends on the actions. Excuse me, doctor. Which is taken. The previous episode okay so there's no dependability doctor can you hear me from one okay episode to the another one okay so that's why we can classify because they are not depending let's say this is the first okay episode the second the third and the fourth if they are not connected okay then we can classify individually okay separately that's okay right so, uh, in sequential environment, okay, uh, the current decision, okay, dep depends on future decision, okay, in the sequential. It is not the episodic, okay, not the episodic. So, in this ep sequential environment, uh, the current decision, okay, depend on future dec decisions because it is a sequence. So. We cannot break okay uh, any sequence in the middle okay because it will affect the future decision. So uh, that's why in the sequential we uh, have okay let's say we are in the, in this state in this decision okay and 
in that case the current decision okay depends on future de decisions okay so every time the future and also the past one okay uh, depends okay on the current one so there's complete dependability among all these okay things if the environment okay changes in that during the time of okay agents thinking okay then it is called dynamic it is uh, moving with time okay dynamic uh, environment is changing and uh, the agent is thinking during the time okay when the environment is going for the changes the agent is just thinking okay and the environment is changing all the time okay changing by maybe by stage maybe by some other way okay but the main thing is environment is okay changing if the environment okay changes uh, we can is not possible that's okay we don't need can if the environment changes okay during the time of agents thinking then we can say it is simply okay a dynamic like this one otherwise is it just static so in the steady environment the agent needs to okay uh, need not to keep okay uh, looking all the time the environment uh, during the uh, decision making process okay but I have to do this or that one okay I have to do this or that like this okay so no need to worry about the time in this case the, this is the main point so we don't need to worry about the time okay Okay, the next is okay, dynamic environment. So in this one, okay, uh, dynamic environments are okay, uh, the continuous environment. So it is, uh, you can think of dynamic environment as continuously, okay, environment is con continuously asking the agent, asking the agent what agent, okay, want to do. So agent uh, was asked by the environment that, okay what do you want to do what do you want to do to the agent okay so it is continu uh, continuously asking okay always asking the agent what the agent want to do with the environment right so if okay uh and in case uh, there are some unsettled issue inside the environment or right so if there are some unsettled or some issues some diseases that are pending then it will the environment is uh, will ask the okay agent what you want to do what you want to do okay so uh this is a continuous process and if the environment okay if the environment okay is constant with that time okay it doesn't change with the uh, time right but our uh, performance score changes also okay this is the third type we're talking about if the environment is constant with the time it is not changing with the time but the performance score is changing okay uh, it is called semi-dynamic okay? so uh, also we have uh, also two other kinds of environment discrete and continuous so in the discrete okay uh, we have First of all, let's think about the different distinction between the difference between the discrete and continuous. So the state of the environment okay, depends on it is applied to the uh, discrete whether the environment is discrete or continuous. Okay, it depends on okay the state of the environment, which state okay the state one two three four it is changing or not or something like this. Okay, so mainly it is applied to the state of the environment of the related to uh, the agent like this. okay so it depends on the environment that's all the next thing is uh, this is an example right so okay uh, this is a chess game okay and the agent is here the environment is here and in the environment you are there right let's say the player is there the human and the game is played by the machine okay game agent is here okay? and every time whenever you put your move okay 
put your phone forward like this way. So in that case, your move is observed by the agent, the machine, the computer maybe, or the, some other machines, okay, uh, in agent, okay. It is observed by the agent. And then, okay, uh, it will respond by its own move. What should I do? If there's some attack by your move, it will do some counterattack okay, in the same way. So every time it observes okay, your the opponent move and then it will do some reaction, some action to compensate those move. Okay. So uh, this is okay, your move. Okay, let's say this is your move and this is the move by the agent itself. So uh, 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 states are discrete, okay, one, two, three, and so on. So uh, this this is also called distinct state. Okay? So for example, in case of this distinct state, your move every time will give different state. Okay, let's say you move the pawn here, and it is a different state than earlier. So a state is changing, okay, one by one, one, two, three, four, and so on. And that's why it is discrete, right? Or distinct. Oh, uh, okay. I think you got the idea. Okay, let's move to the next one. Known versus unknown. Right? In the known environment, okay, the outcomes are given. Okay, we know that uh, uh, the result outcome, the natija outcome. Okay, right? The result outcome. Okay. So, in the known environment, the outcomes are given. But in case of, okay, uh, also uh, if the environment, okay, if the environment is unknown, uh, this is the end one, we are talking about non unknown, right? So if, if environment is unknown, the agent, okay, have to learn how environment works, okay, uh, to make good decision. It is quite obvious. If we don't know about the environment, okay, if the environment is, is unknown, what will be the second state of the environment? We don't know. So in that case, agent uh, have to do a lot of job. Okay, agent have to learn first. Okay, how the environment is working, how the environment is changing with the time. Okay, it will take time to observe those observations from the environment, and then it will okay uh, do something good so that your this the decision becomes quite good okay to make good decisions the environment first need to observe okay need to observe okay how the environment is reacting uh, or acting then it will do something okay in that response right okay let's move to the next one okay agent type so uh there are basically four types of agents okay simple reflex, model based reflex, goal based and utility based. Okay, we will study one by one. In the simple reflex okay, agents, we have uh, the agent and the environment. It is the same figure as I was showing you earlier. So in this one, we have our uh, environment, which is giving the sense to the agent, okay, using the senses. Okay? And the agent is reacting using the actuators. So uh, the question is, uh, after getting some observation, what the world is like now? It is recorded inside using observations. Okay? What the world, world, any environment. Okay? So what the world is like now is the message. Or it is just observing okay? what the world is like now, what the environment is like now, okay? like this way. And then, okay, what action should I do? The same thing. Uh, so every action is, remember, is decided by the control, okay, policy of the agent. So condition action two is there. The, the control is is controlled by, the control policy is controlled by uh, condition action, okay, uh, action rule, by the action rule, okay. Uh, there should be some condition, then we will do six, this action. If, uh, if this, this is the situation, we will do this one. If uh, that is the situation, we will do that one, right? So this is a, a kind of okay, uh, control policy. 
Okay, let's move to the next one. Uh, so uh, this is a summary of the simple wavelength wave. So it is the simplest one and the simple but lacks much intelligence. Okay, but it is it don't have too much intelligence. And each condition, okay, each condition agent, agent observe for change in the environment. So each time each condition agent, okay, condition agent uh, observes, okay, for change in the environment. The same thing as I told you. Okay, and uh, specific actions are defined or uh, put forward, okay, by the agent programs. Okay, uh, also for each observation, for each observation, agent checks the condition, okay, action rule, condition, action rule. Uh, if this will be ha this uh, this is the situation, we will do that one. If that is the situation, we will do this one, like this way, something like this. Uh, and it will find the best or appropriate act, uh, condition, okay, using observation, this situation. Then it performs. It will do some relevant action, okay, for maximum output. Uh, also, okay, uh, we can go, okay, uh, oh yeah, further, this is one more slide. So, lookup, there's also a lookup table inside, okay, the reflex. So, lookup table is, uh, is a kind of, okay, uh, condition and response, okay, condition action, uh, as I told you earlier, okay, this condition action rule, okay, table, or just a, a kind of, okay, uh, control policy. It can be considered as a uh, some kind of file or just some system or program okay, that will decide if and else like this. Okay, so in lookup table, so agent program have always lookup table that has all possible perception, observation, sequence, and mapping to the respective action that is done by the agents. Also based on the input, okay, whatever it receives, I mean the agent receives, okay, based on the input, the agent will access, okay, a lookup table, it will uh, look into the lookup table, it will see what is the plan. So you can think it as a plan also at the same time, okay, so it will see the plan, plan, and then uh, retrieve a okay, respective action it will do some uh, respective the same manner action okay uh, mapping and information actuator uh, uh, just in parallel to the information okay, uh, and uh, just in parallel okay uh, it will inform actuators to do those action right so uh, this is okay the same thing as I told you earlier this process is not effective. Okay. Why? Because the environment is changing all the time. Right? Okay, let's move to the next one. So the model-based reflex, right? Model-based reflex, okay, and this is another model. So almost the same things are here, okay, and you can see here almost the same, everything is same, except, okay, some new situations here. Uh, so it will say first, okay, what is the environment is like now? So the state is changing here, okay, inside the environment, that's okay. And it will see the, it will observe the state, each and every state, and how the world evolves. Means changing state will also do, okay, the second, third, and other uh, environments, okay. Yeah, I mean, the states are changing. So environment is changed. It is observed by the observation in the states, right? So state is always changing. So this means uh, the sensor will give, okay, uh, and the observation is like how the world is evolved. The world evolves means how the world changes. I must say like this. Evolve means how the world is changing from the earlier time to the next state, next stage to the next state, okay, like this to the uh, next step, to the next step, okay, like this. Okay, uh, what 
is my action that I need to do, not my actions do. Okay. It also considers uh, what my actions okay will affect the environment. How my actions actually I should say how my actions will affect the environment. Okay. If I get that kind of situation, if the environment is changing, I if I do that one, okay, uh, how it will affect the environment. If I do this one, how the environment is going to uh, change or affect, okay, uh, to be affected by this action, okay, means like this. So every time it is also analyzing, thinking about, uh, about all the possible actions at the same time, okay, and thinking about the outcome, the future, that if I do this one, maybe it will happen like this. If I do that one, it will happen like this all the time. And uh, the same thing you see, okay? It is all, there's also condition action rules, okay? As earlier. So here, okay, you can think of policy, control policy, right? So uh, what action should, action I should do now, okay? So uh, it is a decisive action which is taken by the agent. Okay, let's move, uh, we can see all the details here. The capacity of Okay, performing an action uh, based on capacity means ability. Okay, it is the ability of the agent to do some action is based on how the environment is changing. The agent okay function okay updates. So remember, I told you agent the function. The function is such as okay. Uh, what was that? Remember. Uh, I, I forgot. I think uh, it was like uh, from uh, senses. So I represented sensor lifetime uh, perception. Okay, I got it. So it was perception. Okay. So function is such as we are getting perception and do action. I think now I got it. Okay. So the function depending on perception and it will do some action. That's all. So uh, this, okay. Uh, function of, okay, uh, and we are talking about the agent function, this one, is updating itself, update, okay, uh, using the internal states which are changing inside, okay, uh, every time, each and every time, okay, so because the environment is changing, so the function uh, of agent, agent function, right, is changing also with the time to do action, this do this action, then later it decide, no, no, don't do this one, don't do this one, that one, okay, this is better, this is better, okay, like this way. So all the time the agents internal, okay, internal, uh, we can say internal agent, agents internal function, function is updating itself, okay, uh, inside the agents, okay, memory. So all the time uh, agent function updates, Internal state every time. Okay. okay uh, the next thing is based on updates, updated. Okay. Percept sequence. So based on updated percept, say a perception sequence. Okay. Uh, and based on lookup table. Okay. Based on lookup table, matching with the ent ent entry of the observation. We can say. Uh, the entry, okay, the observation, okay, or the entry will de determine, okay, will depend on, okay, uh, will decide on what action need to be done, what action need to be done by the agent and inform actuator to do that action, okay. Uh, almost we are finished, okay, so. Uh, sorry for a little delay. Uh, okay, so goal based. Okay, in the goal based, okay, the, the things are almost the same, okay, except uh, some of the things are here. Right? Uh, okay, the state. Remember the same thing. How the word evolve? What my action do? And the questions are a little one more. What at the word is look like? Is like now? Okay, what the word is like now? And when, what it will be like if I do action A. Ah, this is uh, what I talked about, uh, what I taught you earlier, right? Uh, what 
okay it will be like if i do action a okay uh, these are these are okay, questions are finding answers with options okay action a b like this one so what action should do uh, what action should do now okay like this okay uh, it is clear for me that's okay agent okay design okay agent is designed uh, to do some action to reach a certain goal to to get a sure goal a, a, a clear goal okay and then go okay go because it is a goal based so the agent okay is designed to do some action to get some specific some, some pre-decided okay some certain goals okay that's why it's designed for that purpose the goal information is okay the goal information is defined okay predefined actually okay earlier it is already decided okay predefined the goal information is predefined so uh, the agent okay determines which suitable action or okay actions okay uh, available uh, actions to reach the goal that goal so uh, there are two things okay the agent is designed in such a way that it will uh, complete a complete target complete uh, a decided goal that uh, finally i have to make a goal so i have to do from the right side or left side uh, let's say it is a football agent okay player game so it will decide first already that how it will decide the strategy the goal the target and then it will uh, do something so it is designed with that specific strategy with that spe uh, specific purpose okay and thereafter okay, uh, the second one is goal information is uh, predefined the goal information okay the target is predefined so agent determines the agent decides okay uh, or it will find out action that is needed to reach that goal that's all or uh, utility utility based okay, agent so this one or uh, the agent and environment the same uh, a few questions are there uh, i will not go through this one that's okay you can see it that's okay but uh the thing is okay the goal of okay, uh, uh, utility it is totally on utility okay so what does it mean it means that it combines goals with the features the properties of the agent right uh, properties what we desire okay the goals with features okay features any properties some attribute uh the concept okay called utility function so when we combine together the our goal the main goal main target main strategy with the features with the profit with the attribute of the okay desired one okay so then it is called utility function uh, the concept is called utility function and the agent is called utility based agent okay uh, comparison between the different state uh, we compare okay uh, different state in this case and utility value at the same time uh, to assign okay each state every state is assigned a, a different utility utility value okay, uh, with the different state and in this case utility function okay, maps okay it will map utility function will map okay one by one a state to the sequence of uh, map state uh, to the uh, we can say utility value utility function uh, so let's say this is the state and this is the utility value so it each time okay uh, uh, state or utility function we can say it is reverse actually so utility function will map to the state let's say utility function one is related to the state one utility function uh state uh, condition two let's say is map with the state two so every time there's a mapping in between the utility function 
and state. Okay, this is the simple game, and maximize utility value uh, by uh, derived from the state. So the main target is to maximize utility value, okay, which is derived from states, derived from state, right? Uh, 